hi in this video let us understand one of the important concept in tickle in terms of grouping so in tickle there are two uh, two ways you can group one way is using double quotes and another way is using curly braces so let's understand what is the difference between those using a very peculiar example in this particular example what we will try to do is try to match a regular expression we want to make sure our string should not begin or end with a dot okay now and some of you might know that dot has a special meaning in regular expression so how to handle that we'll, we'll look into that so you want that my string should not begin or end with a dot so i'll make one expression that it does not begin with a dot and second expression so that it doesn't end with a dot and once i do that i will print the strings accordingly something like oops so here i can say put matches dot and put does not match dot now in order to check that expression i will just say okay if it begins with the dot i'm using quotes then it matches dot or it ends with a dot then it matches dot so let's see what's the behavior so it does not begin or end our string does not begin and end with a dot so it should come here but let's run and see so it says matches dot what is going wrong here what is going wrong here is dot by default means any character so we have to in order to make sure it matches exactly dot we have to backslash it so we do backslash here so let me just use two different types of grouping okay now just let's use renal one first and then export so let's see what happens now if i try to run it oh it still says matches dot what is going wrong and this is where the difference between weak grouping which is based upon codes and strict grouping which is based upon curly braces comes into the picture so when i am giving this weak grouping codes allows substitution so this backslash is substituted and just dot stays which means matching match any character so this is as good as not giving any uh, not giving any backslash so in order to make this work i have to give two backslashes then what happens is when this quote is seen first backslash is substituted removed as executed and the second backslash still stays so let us see if that works or not so when i do this it works perfectly it says does not match dot so this is with the uh, quote based what is known as weak grouping where basically internally if you have dollar backslashes those are substituted and then the uh, expression is performed if i would have used curly braces then one backslash should have been enough why because substitution inside would not have happened and the backslash would have stayed so then one backslash would be enough let's see what happens now so here i still get the correct result that it does not match dot because curly braces is a strong grouping so inside substitution does not happen so backslash stays but whereas if it was quotes the substitution happens and one backslash is removed so that's why you need two backslashes so this video tells you one how you can match regular expression when you want to match exact dot character you have to use backslashes but it also goes into nitty gritty and peculiarity of double quotes versus curly braces that double quotes allow substitution so you basically have to use double backslashes whereas in curly braces you are okay with one backslash thank you